Hey guys, welcome back to Drew Tutorial. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how to use Google Forms. Now, what you want to do, you want to open up any browser that you may have and you want to sign into your Gmail account. Now, once you're inside your Gmail account, towards the top right hand side, it will look just like this. Now, you want to click on the Google Apps icon here and you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom until you see Forms, the Google Forms. So, you want to click on Forms here, guys. And here, it will take you into this little dashboard where you can see some form templates and you can also create a blank Forms. Now, if you click on the template gallery here, you will see this expand and this will show you quite a lot of Forms that you can choose from. You can open up any one of these forms. Let me just open up any one for example. So if you click on any one of these forms, it will take you into the form. And here you can go ahead and you can just use the form as is. You can modify any part of these forms, rearrange, do everything with this form as you wish. And then you can basically save and use the form. However, I'm going to show you more into what is there when you create a form. But this is just to let you know that you can modify existing form to your liking as well. Now let's go back. Now that we're at the home dashboard, let's go ahead and click on blank form. Now this will take you into a totally blank form, guys. Let me go ahead and get this out of the way. And you can go ahead and you can customize and add all the details that you want. So let me go ahead and give this form a name. Let's say. So I'm going to call this one identity test and this is going to be the title of my form, right? You can also fill in the description as well. So let me just go ahead and put something there and you can always play around with the boldness. You can, you can always play around with how you want the text to be, which is bold, italic, underline. You can also insert hyperlink. You can do number listing or bullet points and you can also remove the formatting, whichever, right? No. So for this first section here, you want to go ahead and you can choose between multiple different questions. So here I can go ahead and I can say, okay, what is your name? Let's say I give this a question and I can go ahead and I can choose how I want this to be answered. So at the moment it is set to short answers, but there are quite a lot that I could write here. So you have this, you have paragraph, you have multiple choice check boxes drop down you can also upload file you can do checkbox grid you can do time and date and you can also have multiple choice grid so it's very very easy to choose whatever you want and you can make this to your liking now i'm gonna leave this as short answer now you can also go ahead and you can choose if you would like to make this as mandatory or not if you want mandatory you can go ahead and you can toggle this and it will make sure that this specific question is mandatory to answer here as well you see that you have the insert to insert the image so you can insert that by uploading image you can do webcam you can do photos google drive or you can also use google image as well if you so desire and would like to add image to for this particular question right now once you're done if you would like to make a similar question you can always duplicate this and then you can always easily change what you want this to be so let me say this describe yourself let's say something like this and in this case i will just simply change this note to something like a paragraph right and this i will just leave it as mandatory as well now here on the left hand side, you can choose if you would like to add another question. You can also go ahead and you can import questions from other sheets as you want or something recent that you have done. So for example, this contact form, I can click on it and I can select it and I can import those questions. So here on the left hand side, you can see the questions that are actually from that form and I can select the ones that I want. So for example, email address and phone number comments i can select all of these and then i can click import and as you see all of these are now imported within my form so it's very easy to import any questions that you would like from any other forms that you have recently opened or worked on you can easily import those within your form 
as well. You also have option here that you can add title description, you can insert an image. So let's say for example, under the section here where I said describe yourself, I can choose insert image option and I can just go to photos or wherever I have photos, I can easily click on a photo of myself or what or whichever and I can easily import it. So just select this for example and I can insert and that picture will be inserted. You can also do the same for videos. So if you click on videos, you'll be able to insert a YouTube link for a particular video and that video will actually show up within the form. Now there's also another option for section. So currently we're working in section one, but if you click on section, you can add a section two and you can continue as you wish. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete this section. And I'm going to click OK and leave it as that. Now for the next tab here, guys, you have responses. Now you will be able to see your responses for people who respond to those questions that you answered. And the next option is the settings. So you can make this as a quiz. You can play with the responses. You can see the responses for those who respond. And also you can collect email address if you would like. So you can choose that if you'd like to collect email address and so on and so on. Now, in order to style this a bit more, on the top right hand side, you have customized themes. So if you click on that, you can select multiple things here. You can choose a different font as you wish. You can also select a font for the questions as you wish. And also for the text, you can choose whatever you want as well. You can also play around with the colors as you desire as well. Now, as for the header, you can choose an image. There are some custom image that are set in various categories. So you can select between these different categories and you can easily select some as you wish. So I'm going to just select something and then I'm going to click insert. And you will see at the top that I have a new image inserted at the top. Now, the next icon is preview. So if you click on preview, this will show you what your form currently look like. And the next option is like undo or redo. Then finally, you will have the send. And here you have the three dots. If you click on that, you will have a quite a few more options. This is to move it to trash, to copy the form, to get a prefilled link, print, add collaborators to your form. Or you can get script editor, or you can get add-ons or keyboard shortcuts. Very easy. Now, if you click on send guys, you have a few options. Here you at the top, you have the verified, which is basically allowed to collect email address. You can toggle between this as well. Here you can fill in the email address of the person that you'd like to share this or send this form to. And of course you can change the subject and you can write a message as you wish. You can also click here this checkbox to include the form as well. Here you can add editors as well and the next step here is to copy basically a link directly to the form by default it has the long link but if you click on this you can get a short link which is called a link shortener and it will give you a very small link for the form as well the next option is basically embedded html so you can embed this form within html page as well and you have two social media share icons here which is Facebook and Twitter so you can directly share these forms directly on Facebook or Twitter and that's all there is to it. No guys Google form is a very useful application let's say a very useful tool that you can use to get information for various reasons and I would recommend that you take advantage of these free applications or tools let's say from Google. No guys I really hope that you find this very easy tutorial very helpful and if you do go ahead and give this video a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any question whatsoever regarding this tutorial. Or if you'd like to see much more tutorials, whether it's on another Google application or whichever application you'd like me to show, I will be happy to make this tutorial for you. And if you're seeing the channel for the first time, welcome to Drew Tutorial. I'm Anjo, and I'd appreciate if you join the community by simply clicking the subscribe button below so that you'll never miss out when I release another tutorial just like this one. Thank you very much, guys, and I'm looking forward to see you again. Goodbye.